Hello and welcome to Verbling. Uh, sorry, I had some technical difficulties starting the class, but everything seems to be okay now. For the next hour, we're going to uh, be looking at vocabulary, particularly vocabulary to discuss hobbies and and games. Um, we'll be doing that by uh, a mix of different types of exercises, fill in the blank and mix and match, and also through discussion, talking about hobbies and uh, what you like to do in your free time. Uh, let me start out by welcoming some students. Hello, Heidi. Hello. Okay. How are you today? Today, uh, not good. Um, uh, even the weather is not good. Like overcast. Uh. Overcast, like the outside and the inside of me. <laughs> overcast. <laughs> overcast. You're feeling overcast today. <laughs> me too, to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, very. I have very low battery today. <laughs> Feeling exhausted from my flu. I have. Anyway, welcome to the class. Uh, also, uh, allow me to welcome Javier. Hi, Javier. Good evening. Yes. Hi, Oakley. Hi. How are you? Okay, a little under the weather. Uh, okay, I guess. Um, anyway, welcome to the class. Hello, Monica. Hello, Oakley. How are you? All right. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for asking. Okay. All right. Welcome to the class. And also, I'd like to welcome Natalia. Hi, Oakley. How are you? Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get started here. Let's jump in. Uh, hang on, I'm going to do a screen share, and we'll get started doing an exercise together. Uh, okay. Now, a common problem when discussing hobbies is co-location with the verb uh, and and the actual hobby in question. So is it doing, playing, or collecting? What do you do with, uh, what verb do you co-locate with these different um, hobbies or, or activities? Uh, real quickly, let me just say hello to Zingyu. Hi, Zingyu. Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome to the class. I'm expecting your class. <laughs> Well, me too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> welcome to the class. And also, uh, Abraham. Uh, Abraham, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Okay, thank you. Um, welcome to the class. Okay, uh, do we do, play, or collect? Uh, which word is co-located with the following words? Heidi? Coins. Do, play, or Collect. Coins. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Um, I don't. Ah, yes, yes I collected the coin only euro. Um, <laughs> euro coin have different. Um, what's it? Um, different <laughs> kind. Um, depend on the country. The. Uh, okay, yeah. but the verb that we commonly use with coins is collect. That's right. Collect. Collect coins. Uh, okay, very good. You collect coins, Heidi? Or? One euro. One euro. Okay. <laughs> uh, depending on the country, the design is different. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, all right. I collected coins when I was very young, but that didn't last. Uh, all right, next one, Javier. Yes. Uh, the word is uh, playing. Sure, you play chess. Uh, Javier, are you, are you a chess player? No, uh, like, not frequently. Not frequently, but you know the rules. No. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
All right. Good enough. Uh, okay, Monica, how about crosswords? Do you play crosswords. I think it's do. Do crosswords. Yeah, you do crosswords or you do the do the crossword puzzle. Do you ever uh, do crossword puzzle? No, no. <laughs> no? No, I don't like to do that. <laughs> no? No, no. It's definitely an activity which it's something that I've done on and off through my life but when, when you first start doing it you're not very successful and it takes forever but the more you practice the better you get the faster you are but if you stop doing it in just a few months you'll be back to the beginning it's not like riding a bicycle <laughs> you definitely if you, if you stop doing it regularly you get bad at it again Pretty fairly yeah. quickly. Oh yeah, really. Uh, okay. Uh, next one, N Natalia. Stamps. Do play. Mm. Stamps. Mm, put. Sorry. Maybe. Maybe the word of the bird is put. No, I think usually we would use collect. Many some uh. people collect stamps. Okay. Some stamps can be postage stamps, of course, we're talking about. Some stamps are very, very, well, some coins as well, are very, very expensive or worth a lot, I guess, to some people. <laughs> to collect, uh, okay. for example. Uh, something I've never done. It sounds like you've never collected stamps either. Uh, I don't know how many people do it anymore because who actually... Who even uses stamps anymore? I, I don't know. Do you ever use stamps anymore, Natalia? No. <laughs> no, really, no. No, no it's uh, normal in my country. I call it the stamps. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let's, let's continue. Let's look at the next one. Zingio Antiques. Do play or collect? Zingio? Yeah. Collect. Collect. Collect antiques. Very good. I'm a, a history teacher. Oh, In are my you? Free time, okay, right. I okay. often I like to collect uh, some antiques. Really? Uh, let me ask you something. In in United States, it's very common to um, to run into antique stores. Uh, they're really fairly common. You go and you browse around and maybe buy something if you want. Sometimes the antique stores buy things from people as well to resell. Are there antique shops uh, in China? And in a big city, the antique uh, shops are very popular. Are they? Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Have you been to Shanghai? Negative. I uh, have not. I've only been to Hong Kong. <laughs> hey. Didn't notice any antique shops, but <laughs> who can notice anything? Uh, there. It, yeah, okay. Uh, that's interesting. All right. My, my aunt actually was very big into collecting antiques. and Well, in fact, she was a dealer. She actually sold antiques and collected them. Very strange, actually. She really, uh, <laughs> she for some reason started specializing, as many antique collectors do, she started specializing in toasters. So her whole house is just covered with these really old toasters. <laughs> it's kind of funny. What? Kind of strange. Yeah. What is a toaster? Toasters? Uh, you cook toast in it. Um, you put slices of bread into the toaster and push down the lever and uh, up pops your cooked toast. So, anyway, uh, I don't know oh. why, but this is her... This, it's this a her special thing. hobby. It's very special. It's <laughs> kind of weird. It's a special hobby. 
Is there any specific thing that you like to collect, Zingyu, for antiques? Furniture hey. or or books or, or anything special? I like to collect uh, some older books. Books? Really? Okay. Mm. I used to do that as well, actually. I used to collect. Uh, we books. have a similar hobby. Mm, yeah, indeed. Uh, okay. Let me move on. Abraham. Ooh. We, computer play games. computer games. Sure. Uh, do you play computer games? Yes. You do? Okay. Just you... play computer games. All right. Do you play computer games too often, or do you wish you had more time to play computer games? Uh, uh, frequently. Frequently? Okay. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Uh, okay, n number seven, Heidi, jigsaws. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, I made some art um, painting uh, with jigsaw. And uh, another one is a uh, um, uh, pirate of Caribbean, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe they're referring to jigsaw puzzles. Right. Okay. So, do you do play or collect? Uh, I made only two two uh, things. One is the and the, the art of uh, Rembrandt, <laughs> night watch, and another one is the Jack Sparrow. <laughs> okay. So, what is the verb that we should use? Do. 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 Yeah. do. Yes, that's it. Yeah, you do a jigsaw puzzle. Right. Yeah. I have small children, so we do a jigsaw puzzle. We put it together, and then the children promptly lose all the pieces. So a jigsaw puzzle lasts about 24 hours in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. then and then we're finding small pieces of the jigsaw puzzle for the next Rembrandt, Rembrandt painting, so it's very, very big, so it took... Yeah. Um, one month. One month. A lot really? of pieces. Yes. Some people do jigsaw puzzles and then they frame them and hang them up on the wall to display in their homes. Yeah, I, I display it. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Um, let me give a quick shout out to Lionel. Is it Lionel? Is that correct? <laughs> Yes, it's correct. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'll get I'll get back with you uh, in a little little bit. All right. Just wanted to welcome you. Make sure your microphone's working. Uh, okay. Number eight. Uh, Javier. Cards. Cards. Uh, I I. Uh, it should be played. Sure. Play cards. Absolutely. Do you play cards, Javier? Uh, yes, I play cards. I like to play uh, cards. Any particular games you enjoy? Mm, no, not just regular game. No, 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 nothing special. No, but nothing particular. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Of course, there's all kinds of card games we play. Play for fun. Rummy, Canasta, Gin Rummy. Uh, I don't know. Kids games. Crazy Eights, War, and uh, then of course the, the grown-ups. We can play poker uh, if you're if you're willing to gamble. Do you ever play poker, Javier? No, no, I don't play. No, I don't play poker. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I enjoy poker. Very common for Americans to play poker. You and your buddies on every Thursday night or something like that. You win or lose twenty dollars, or maybe a really bad night or good night. You win or lose fifty dollars. No big deal. Over time, everybody breaks even. It's just more sociable, social than anything. Uh, okay, Monica, how about postcards? Hmm. Monica. Yeah. Uh, 
postcards collect collect, collect. postcards sure uh, okay do you uh, when's the last time you wrote a postcard ah uh, I think it was um, 15 years ago when oh, I uh, was traveling in Venezuela <laughs> but uh, right now you 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 put the the photos in, in Facebook and yeah. not necessary to send postcards okay uh, I used to travel a, a lot and one of uh, one stupid thing that I enjoyed doing is I'd write postcards to myself and then mail them back to myself so little moments during my trip just sitting having a coffee or maybe drinking with some natives at a bar late at night I'd just quickly write myself a quick postcard and send them to me I would send them to myself and I would forget that I sent them to myself so it was a lovely surprise and a souvenir when I get home you should try it it's kind of fun I usually buy postcards when I am traveling. Oh yeah. But yeah, yeah, because then, I really like the the photos. Yeah. Uh huh. But then you don't send them; you just collect the postcards. Mm, no, collect not really. But I have some yeah. some of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I kind of like postcards. I like uh, going on vacation and collecting really weird postcards, actually. Very stupid, crazy, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I remember sending myself postcards of a, a prison. <laughs> was like a main <laughs> a prison, uh, a McDonald's on a mountaintop. Really just stupid things. Uh, kind of fun. Well, no, I think it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, interesting things. That, that's it. Interesting, uh, yeah. Sure. Natalia, old photographs. Do, you, do play or collect old mm, photographs? Collect. Yeah, probably collect. Do you have uh, lots of old photographs? No, some old photographs. I, mm, I. Let me. Very good word. My grandmother okay. gives me <laughs> gives me old photos. My grandmother gave me old photos. Gives old me photo. old photos. It's, it's uh, only only five or six photos. Old photos. Okay. About how old are they? Yeah, yeah. How how, how old are they? And who are they pictures of? Maybe some photograph. It's maybe the Thirteen years old. Oh, from you? Photographs of you? No, no, uh, of the of my grandmother and oh, the she friends, uh, she brother, she sister. Okay, her brother, her sister. All right. Uh, okay, her brothers and sisters when she was a kid. Now that's interesting. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, got to take care of those. Yeah. They're, they're easy to easy to destroy uh, by accident. Uh, Zingyo, how about number eleven? A musical instrument. Playing a musical instrument. Of course, you play. What do you play? What musical instrument do you play, Zingyu? In my college, I play the, the guitar, but uh, really? I am a, I'm a lot of good uh, guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, fair enough. Teacher, I have a question for you. What's that? What kind of the music instrument instrument do you like to play? Uh, I don't really play anything. I play very bad drums, and uh, I can I can play a harmonica pretty well. 
Not that it takes too much skill, really, but I'm actually pretty good with a harmonica. And I like to sing. That's about it. Uh, wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, we can get together. You can bring your guitar, and I'll play a little harmonica. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lionel, an uh -huh. evening course. Do you do you play or collect an evening course? Um, do do an evening evening course. Yeah, and I have to say here that this is much more common for British to to do a course. Uh, Americans, I think, would pretty much all say take a course, take a course, take an adult class, take an evening course, take a take a class in basket weaving. Um, Americans tend to use the verb take here. A little uh, different. Than yeah. British. What is the meaning of course? Of course, uh, uh, class. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah. uh, But usually a series of classes, not just one class, but a series of classes would be a course. Uh, Zinya, did you have a question? And what's the answer for 12? 12? It's do, but I was saying that um, British tend to use do here do an evening course, but Americans more often would say take an evening course. Thank you. Sure. Uh, okay. Let's talk about some different games. Use these words in the sentences below. And we've got a bunch of different kinds of games here. Uh, okay. And Heidi, we're back to you. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Blank is a very popular game, now often played on computer. King, Queen, Bishop, and Rook are the name of some of the pieces. Indeed. Chess. Uh, Got to be chess. Do you play chess? Before, yes. Uh, before, I used to play uh, chess and even Japanese chess. Both. Aha. Uh -huh. Chess is another game, like like I was talking about crossword puzzles. If you stop playing chess for, you know, a year, it takes you a while to get back up to speed. Yeah, okay. Uh, number two, Javier. It's played on a board similar to a board, but with flat round pieces. The pieces move only in very simple way. Uh -huh. uh, it's a little tricky. This one. The Bagamon? Uh, no, no. This is this one's tricky because uh, the word here used here is very British. Americans would never say this. Americans would always call it checkers. Okay, checkers, yes. Yeah. So what's the other word that means? You know checkers, I take it. It sounds like you're familiar with checkers. Yes. yes. Uh, so it, Brits, I guess, uh, often call it drafts. Uh, okay, so drafts is played on a board similar to a chess board. Well, really okay. exactly the same. I, so, I have never heard that, that word draft. Yeah, I, I've, I've, heard, I've heard it before, but it extremely rarely because Americans okay. always call it checkers. Yes. Right. Uh, okay, uh, number three, Monica. You use a pack of cards to play games such as bridge and poker. Indeed. Very good. A pack of cards. You ever played bridge? Mm, no. Me neither. And poker neither. No, no poker, no bridge. No, no. Yeah. Neither one. Okay. But it seems really interesting. Yeah, I, I I would like to learn how to play bridge. Actually, I don't know how to play. I've never played, but. I do enjoy playing poker occasionally. Uh, Natalia, number four. Mm, 
blank is played with black pieces with white dots of them. You lay them end to end until you have none left. Uh -huh. mm, maybe yes. as black 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 gamma? Black gamma? Uh, here you go. Close. Uh, dominoes. Ah, dominoes. Dominoes. Here's one now. A uh, couple of places I've traveled, dominoes is like the game. Um, mm. The game everybody plays. Here, I live in the Philippines, and now you, you see people, you know, regular people sitting out in the street, literally sitting on the street with a card table, by the way, a, a table with folding legs that you can, it's obviously um, movable. You can move it around. Stick a card table right in the street and play cards. In uh, when I was traveling in Jamaica, some places in the Caribbean, uh, dominoes is where you everywhere you go you see people playing dominoes. Uh, have you ever played dominoes, Natalia? Yeah, in my country, play the game, <laughs> but uh, if if the game is the pieces of the Many words because it's a uh, double twelve. <laughs> okay. And this, I, I think in Mary American uh, has this play uh, similar or or this play. <laughs> I, I think so. I think so. Actually, my I have a well, not anymore. He's passed away, but I had a great grandfather. He lived to be 101 years old, and he loved to play dominoes. So. Yeah, I can say that Americans used to play dominoes a, a lot, or from my personal experience, um, older people play. Younger people don't even know anything about dominoes anymore. Uh, okay, Zingyu, number five. Zingyu? Number five. Number five. Mm. Uh, number five. Mm. Number five. <laughs> uh, uh. Dice is played by two people with a board, wrong front pieces, and a uh, dice. It's very popular in Greece and uh, Turkey. <coughs> no. Mm. Excuse me. Sorry. Mm. Not dice. A well, pack of cards. No, and no. Uh, yes. Little... No, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's only one game left if you eliminate dice, uh, so, and that has to be backgammon. Have you ever heard of backgammon? Mm, I, I don't know it is. Okay. Uh, usually it comes in a box. You fold open the box. It's got triangular spaces that you use round flat pieces and a dice this is wrong you need you absolutely need two two dice or two die one dice a dice and uh, now people generally say two dice but really it used to be the plural of dice used to be die uh, which of course actually that's the only answer left, so uh, all right. Uh, dice have six sides. They're used in board games from many different countries. Dice. Uh, yes, okay, but uh, again, plural, we can say two dice, or, or you can say two die. Either one is acceptable now. The answer for three is a pack of cards. So, you, know, you use a pack of cards to play games such as bridge and poker. Uh, okay. Let's do something a little different. Uh, mix and match. What would be a logical, uh, logical correct ending for each sentence? Uh, Lionel, go ahead and read it and pick A, B, C, or D and continue reading. So number one, Lionel. Okay. Um, come on. It's your turn. 
uh, through road. Mm. Uh, number uh, letter D. One of your pies. You are talking to them. No, it would be one of your pieces, but I don't think so. You can and here you three. You can use the verb throw or roll. Either one would be very. Ah, good. all right, all right. The the dice. The dice. There you go. Roll the dice. Uh, okay. In fact, roll the dice is a common idiom for take a chance. Go ahead, roll the dice, see what happens. Whether you're actually playing a game or you're talking about, I don't know, investing in the stock market or um, trying to cross the street without looking both ways. <laughs> Whatever. If you're going to take a chance, you roll the dice. Okay. Uh, Heidi, number two. You need to shuffle the cards uh, before you deal with them. Indeed. Shuffling is the action, is a verb. When you mix the cards in your hand with your hands and then you deal them, you give each player a set amount of cards. That's the deal. To deal is one meaning of to deal. Obviously, it has other meanings, but one meaning is to... Um, give everyone in the game a set amount of cards. Uh, okay, Javier, number three. It's your, it's your goal. Hurry up and move one of your pieces. You're taking too long. There you go. Okay, so you might hear that in, in checkers or chess, probably, because you move one piece at a time. Backgammon, you might be able, you can use you can move two pieces at a time, so you would never hear that. And last one, Monica. Did you take one of my pieces just then? I wasn't looking. All right. So in chess or checkers, you try to capture uh, the other person's pieces. Uh, as you play the game, so you. That's another word we use, capture. Captured my rook, for example, in chess. Uh, okay. Now, let's try these questions. Uh, Natalia. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead mm. and read the question and then try to pick the right answer. Which of this isn't a war game? Board game. So three of them are board games. Board game. Yeah. A board game actually requires a board, Maybe usually. Cardboard. Which of them is a board game? Draw? Mm, no, drafts is like checkers, so you need a, a board, you know, with a 64 squares, 8 by mm. 8 squares for chess or drafts. Okay, May, uh, that, chess. Chess? No, no, you, you use actually the same board. Oh, okay. A, if you remember, uh, you call uh, it a chess board. Okay. Domino? Dominoes doesn't require an actual board. Yeah. You can play just on a table, any flat surface. Mm -hmm. You can play dominoes. Yes. Monopoly is obviously a board game. You, yeah. you move your piece around the board. You ever play Monopoly? Yes. Oh, yes. I play. Yes. <laughs> Are you an expert Monopoly player? Uh, no expert, but when I young, <laughs> I like to uh, play Monopoly. Uh huh. Yeah, I used to play. Now I don't think I don't think children play board games anymore. Do they? They just play video games or computer games. Yeah, it's old fashioned, really. Yeah. Uh, in these days, uh, the young people. Uh, only play video games. 
yeah. Too bad they don't know what they're missing. Can be fun. Uh, okay, moving on. Zingyu, number six. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is the answer for five? The answer is dominoes. Mm. <laughs> because you don't you don't actually need a playing board. Mm. Mm. And number six, uh, 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 I sh I choose ace. Uh, that would be wrong. Uh, okay, <laughs> which of these isn't a card? So all of them are types of playing card except one. No, there's definitely an ace. That's yeah. the big A. Sorry, no, there is a jack. Yeah. No, that's the one with the J. Uh, there, there's definitely a jack. It has a big letter J on the opposing corners. And no. Prince? Prince, yeah. There's no Prince card. It's, that doesn't exist. Um, okay, so yeah, there's no such thing as a Prince card. All the other cards do exist. There's four of each except uh, two jokers usually in a normal deck of cards. A normal deck of cards is 52 cards without the jokers. Generally, when you buy playing cards, there's going to be a couple jokers just in case you want to use them for some special games. Okay. Uh, Lionel, number seven. Which of these isn't a cheese piece? Um... And for me, it's a soldier. Yeah, there's no such thing as a soldier. Uh, the pawns move forward one space at a time. Okay, obviously, the object is to capture the other person's king. Queen is the most, the best piece on the board, really. Uh, okay, number eight, Heidi. Label the pictures. Here they go. Hearts, clubs, diamond, spades. This is a. A is a club. Huh? Club. No. Clubs. Ah no. no. Ah no. Heart, diamond, spades. Ah, this is club. Hearts. <laughs> Spade. <coughs> spades. Spades. This is spades. Okay. This, of course, B. Heart. Hearts, yeah. Now, C. Club. There you Club. go. And finally, D. Them. Of course. All right. Uh, okay. Um, all right. As I mentioned, drafts is called checkers in American English, and on mostly in computer games if you're going to play. Uh, general figure, a general word for a chess figure is a piece. We also use pieces for other games. Um, game piece, even. Uh, sometimes the things we move are called counters, particularly in backgammon, or, um, okay, or just piece. And then, as I said, okay, modern English dice to singular and plural, but uh, that's, it's still perfectly okay to say two die to talk about having more than one. Uh, okay. Let's talk about, uh, let's look at some, let's look at some co-locations that we use. Verbs with uh, talking about hobbies and interests. Uh, all right. Uh, Javier, go ahead and read this sentence. You may have to, uh, you may have to change the verb tense. Be aware of that. Okay, uh, I'm learning to play the guitar. There you go. Uh, okay. Very good. All right. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, next one, Monica. Um, I spend all my free time doing karate. I... Joined a club 
three years ago, and I just got my black belt. Excellent. Very good. Monica, do you have your black belt? Are you a no? <laughs> I would like, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, in fact, um, when I was um, young, I was trying to to practice karate, but I was really bad. I couldn't. <laughs> I decided to to leave. Okay, that. <laughs> that's take a lot of practice. Uh, to, yeah, yeah. To learn to do karate, yeah. For sure. Okay, Natalia, number three. I used to go windsurfing every week, but I had to blank when I. Oh, sorry. When sorry. I, had, <laughs> I had to. I used to go very windsurfing every week, but I had to take when. I started university because I didn't have to time. Okay, well, uh, all right. So, used to, we use this in English construction to mean uh, something, often a hobby or activity, very mm -hmm. frequently, that you did before but you no longer do. So, sh the speaker used to do it every week, but then they had to. Okay. When they went to university? No. Uh, join? No, no, no. They had to. St the meaning is they had to stop because they didn't they have time. Stop? Yeah, so. Um, what, what would, hmm. what stop. The stop. Uh, maybe a span because. No, no. Uh, I. I I was imagining that the word was quit, but there's another uh, actual, actually a phrasal verb here that means to quit. So uh, you give it it up. That's it. That's um, it. Give up is another way to say quit. So I used to go windsurfing every week, but I had to give it up when I started okay. university. Stop doing it or quit and doing it. Stop. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, Zingio, number four. Number four. I paint most uh, evenings and uh, weekends. I find it uh, relaxing and uh, it uh, takes off my mind off work. Takes my mind off work, yeah, that's right. Mm takes my mind. If it's something takes your mind off something, you stop thinking about it or stressing about it, worrying about it. Okay. That's the idea. Uh, okay. Uh, Lionel. Number five. Okay. I go fishing quite a lot. Eat uh, mm, eat uh, blunt me out of the house and it helps me plan and forget all my worry. All right. It blank blanks me. It blanks me out of the house. What, what do you think? Mm. Uh, it uh, relaxes me. Well, that's the end of the sentence. Yeah. Okay. And what is it? Sure. First. It blanks me out of the house and it helps me relax and forget all my worries. Ah, okay. And it get me get me out. Right. But of course it has to be it gets. It gets me out of the house. Okay, this is a common phrase when we talk about activities, especially outdoor activities. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Yes. And and for number five, yes, it helps me to relax, or it helps me relax. Which uh, one you write? Uh, could be either one, really. It helps me to relax. Uh, okay, could be either one. Actually, you have an option here. You don't. You don't need to. It helps me relax. Uh, could be either one. 
with Sounds very, good. very little difference in meaning. Okay. Anyway, the phrase gets me out of the house is a very common phrase used by English speakers just to mean that it's an activity that, you know, well, gets you out of the house, gets you moving, gives you a little exercise, what have you. Heidi, number six. I uh, ran golf when I was about 40. When I had to stop uh, playing rugby, oh. I took up. That's it. Excellent past tense of take is took. I took up golf. So you take up an activity, that means you start an activity. You begin a new activity. You take up uh, whatever. It could be anything. I took up karate. I took up basket weaving. It doesn't really remember. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. All right. Now we hobby specifically all kinds of things. We've got lots of different words and uh, phrases here. Which um, I have a question. Sure. Take up can be separate. Be separated. Like uh, take me good up. Question. Uh, well, when you take me up, but okay, took I took karate up in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess it could. That's a good question. Phrasal verbs sometimes can be separated, the verb and the preposition or particle, and sometimes they can't be. So that's actually a very good question. Uh, I think so. I took swimming up in high school. Took, I think so. I think that's okay. It sounds actually it sounds a little bit weird. I took up swimming. I think it's a okay, but it's not normal when you talk about activities. We usually don't separate it. Mm -hmm. I th I think it's grammatically all right to do so, but it's just a little unusual, not normal. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. These uh, words and phrases. What are they associated with? Um, photography, painting. Making clothes or cooking? Uh, what are they related to? Uh, Javier, brushes. Um, I, related. Go ahead. I think is for clothing. For what? Oh, so, sorry, for uh, for painting. 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 Yeah, could yeah. be. Although I have to tell you, sometimes you use brushes for cooking to baste okay. like a turkey or a chicken or something. You can use a paintbrush to actually okay. put stuff on it. But uh, anyway, yes, most most definitely you are correct. It's most associated with painting. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Monica, how about, well, camera. It's obvious. Camera with photography. Of course. It's crazy. All right. Uh, cake decorating, Natalia. Mm, cake decorating and the cooking. Of course. Uh, okay. Are you good at decorating cakes? No. It's no. so difficult. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah. I, I'm pathetic at it. Zinio. Ooh. But this one, mm. material could be. As, uh, well, this one's for Zingyo. Zingyo, material. Material, material could be making clothes. Very good. Uh, yes, we often talk about the material, meaning the type of the type of cloth you're using, what, what it's made out of, right? Cotton, wool, rayon, whatever. Uh, okay, uh, Lionel. Develop. Develop a film. A film. Hmm. Uh, photography. Obviously. Okay. Have you ever developed your own pictures, Lionel? With a um, dark room? in a dark room. I mean. Uh, do you mean with uh, Photoshop, for example? Ah. <laughs> No, I'm a primitive. I'm thinking way back to analog days before we had digital cameras and you needed a dark room to develop photographs. Ah, uh, no. 
okay. Um, I never Inter Interesting thing to do. Heidi, oil paints. Pendant. Obviously. Uh, okay. Javier, ingredients. It goes in cooking. Yes. Obviously, the things that you use to make a dish, the different parts of a dish, flour, sugar, salt. Okay, those are ingredients. Very good. Monica, easel. Easel. Uh, I don't know. No idea? Uh, no. Any, you, no idea what an easel is? Uh, easel. <coughs> an easel is a tripod. Yeah, that's right. It's a tripod that's used to hold your canvas when you're painting oh, okay. a picture. Sometimes in the tripod. Uh, but you can use a tripod in photography. Yeah, a tripod would be yeah. more more for photography to hold a camera, but specifically an easel is used to hold a painting. Uh, Heidi, what? What yeah, were you saying? In front of the restaurant, they are using either to put oh, yeah. some special dish. Today's specials, right? Yeah. That's right. Uh, you're absolutely correct. Um, that is true. Sometimes you see an easel with a blackboard or a whiteboard or even an electric uh, to advertise. That's absolutely true. Uh, okay. Uh, Natalia, recipe. Recipe is the um, cooking. Yeah, obviously, a recipe is the written instructions to cook a dish. Is the recipe, all right? And Zingyu, sewing machine. Mm. Sewing machine. Yeah. Sewing machine. It's uh, related to making clothes. Yeah, certainly, of course. That <laughs> sewing machine. You don't use a sewing machine to cook? No, of course not. Can you uh, use a sewing machine? I have a donut. You have a what? A donut? Do you know how to use, do you know how to use a sewing machine? In my childhood, I used to make uh, some clothes using really sewing machine. Okay, cool. Wow, uh, I'm very bad at using a sewing machine myself. Terrible. Lionel, pastry. Um, this uh, this is like a, a cake. Yeah, that's right. So cooking. It has to be cooking. Yeah, pastry is very small, like one person sweet bread, kind of like a cake. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Heidi, tripod. Tripod. I don't know part of tripod. Um, painting. No, you, you know, we, we it's basically almost the same thing. It's a three-legged. Thing to hold things up, and easels. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, photograph. Photography, right? Uh, right. Yeah. We often use a <coughs> excuse me, a tripod to hold the. I put the camera. Hold the camera, right? We also use a tripod for another hobby. Um, oh my goodness! To usually you have a tripod to hold a telescope if you're viewing uh, the stars or planets. Uh, okay. A uh, construction place, uh, they measure the distance. Yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah. Surveyors, those, the guys that actually measure the boundaries, uh, boundaries and distances to do construction. Yeah, they also obviously use a, must have a tripod. Uh, okay, Javier, zoom lens. Uh, is part of the camera photography. Indeed. Uh, okay. Monica, needle and cotton. Cotton. Uh, making clothes. Sure, of course. Natalia, watercolor. Mm, maybe painting? Yes, certainly. There's 
Uh, oils and watercolors are two of the fundamental mediums, different ways to create art uh, or fundamental tools, uh, fundamental mm, categories, there we go, are watercolors and oil paintings. And last of all, Zingyu pattern. Pandaren, pandaren. Let me Google this. <laughs> well, we don't have time for that, so no, I won't let you Google it. You often use a pattern to cut out the cloth to make clothes. So, pattern. There's a. Uh, often we use that when we're making clothes to cut out the different pieces that you're then going to sew together. Uh. Okay. Uh, we're out of time, so thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you again next time. Uh, thanks a lot. Hope thank you learned a little you. something. Thank you very